Hey everyone, Madonna and David, and we're here for your tip of the day. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. So it's about how to boost your dopamine naturally. Okay. Because when we're talking about addictions, everyone only thinks about what we can't do. I right. can't get onto the computer and spend 12 hours a day. I can't have two bottles of wine at night time. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, it's about what I can't do. But what we can do is start increasing dopamine naturally. Okay. And right, right. So I think one of the things we need to do is to start getting out in that sunshine. Okay. Whether it's for five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour in the morning, mm -hmm. as soon, even if it's before you get in that car to go to work, look up at the sun, even if it is for just a minute and allow that sunshine to enter your eyeballs. That's also been shown that if you go out in the sun in the morning and maybe just in the backyard or on your balcony or whatever you've got, spend some time in the sun, best thing for depression. Yes. Because it gets you out in the light, away from the darkness. Yes. Out, And it also gets you exposed to the world. It does. Because people with depression and addiction, they'll stay home. Yeah. And they'll sit in their cave. And the other thing to do, if you've got time, if you're, you've already got your boots on, and this happens to me a lot, I get dressed and then I go, darn, I wish I had my bare feet. Right. So I will actually go sit my butt on the ground and then put my hands on the earth. Right, okay. Yeah, right. Because earthing. you need to be earthing yourself. That's about electron exchange. Well, that's also in counselling, it's called grounding. There's lots of different ways of grounding. There are. Absolutely. And that would be breath work or physical work. Or... You can actually buy things to put inside your shoes mm. so that you're grounding yourself. So you, you can actually buy like little pads to put inside your shoes so you're getting that electron exchange but, through but, the so day. There's, there's that thing, but nature itself has oh, a thing about 100%. it. Oh, 100%. And there's some sort of thing with nature where, so part of nature and healing is that um, the natural power of regeneration. Yes. That all things will pass and this will too. And nature has a way of rejuvenating, regenerating if you can access it. Absolutely. Because so so the difficulty with addiction, whether we're talking about a behavioural addiction like, or whether we're talking about an electronic addiction or a d drug addiction. So um, uh, Dr. Anna Lemke from Stanford, she wrote a book, Dopamine, Dopamine Nation, and she's dual diagnosis head of Stanford. So she'll deal with addictions with another thing. And so it takes... 21 days to a month, because we've got an addiction where there's especially a dopamine fueled one, which will be like a computer game or a, just being on your phone or a pornography addiction or a physical addiction or a drug, they all have this thing because they're the receptors. Yeah. So we're, we're dealing with neuro neurobiology about receptors. So just say we've normally got two. Yeah. Right? Because we're pumping it with extra dopamine, there's like, three and maybe four and then five because it grows to the amount of dopamine. Mm -hmm. Some of them grow, others reduce. Yes. Right. So they so they either have to over time let them grow back, which takes time. Yes. Or the ones that are reduced, we gotta let them regrow because the drug's been and some things are like that. And because of that, you see a lot of the modern drugs they're um, not actually drugs, but they're inhibiting things. Yeah, absolutely. So some things inhibit and some things increase. So it takes time <clears throat> for the receptors to change back to normal. Yes. And so they say it takes at least three weeks to even start perceiving natural dopamine. Yeah. And the reason is is because the higher dopamine things just say they're, because they measure them in hundreds, so just say they'll say things like um, chocolate's 50, you know, sex is 150, marijuana, cigarettes is about that, marijuana's a little bit higher and things like speed are 2,000. Behavioural addictions will be the same. And so so what happens is when we stop them, it's pretty hard to make stuff chocolates. The natural ones are lower. So being in the sun, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not, they're not 500. Right. They're like maybe 30 and then chocolates maybe 50. So it's hard to get the same amount of, oh, I feel good and rewarded. Yes. When you're used to 300 and now you're getting right. 40. Yes. And then you've got to like stack them a bit. Yes. You know, get in the sun and do some yoga. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And get in the sun, do some yoga, have a cold shower, you but know, so you're be, several things that you'll stimulate your nervous system. There's going to be these difficult months. Yes. And then at the end, generally, they decide whether they're going to give it up or because 
prohibition isn't always the way or reduce it yeah you know and and for, become more regulated in your life and take the thing like it's like yeah. an uncle buck he had a five-year plan of giving up smoking so the first year was cigars the second year was uh nicotine patches but that's probably a smart <laughs> way to do it and and because with a with a um a phone people sit on them while, while they're in the company of other people yeah so we don't want to remove it because we need our phones for all life. Yes. You can't function without them. So it's a matter of But like, it is easy to turn it upside down so at least you're not seeing the ding, ding, dings because right. that gives us the dopamine hits. Turn That's the right. volume and on. I, and I, and I, I'm really pro-tech. Like I'm generally pro-everything because if people do things in moderation, like I'm not... I'm a counsellor, not a dictator, and whatever people's morals are, I want to go with their morals. Yes. You know, because everyone has their own and it's not my job to tell people... How to <clears throat> how to have their own values? Yeah, absolutely. Because they've already got them. So, tip of the day: get into the natural natural dopamine. Natural dopamine. Stuff, natural dopamine. And um, take take time to find it. Find a whole bunch of natural thing before you start giving anything up. Yeah. And maybe do little steps at a time, like you just said, little steps at a time. Get the new dopamine sources, maybe a little bit more of an That's improvement. That's right, yeah. And get involved with the people around you. It's very hard to do it by yourself. You can get help from a counsellor, from a yes. naturopath, but you also need your support crew around you if you can get it. You do. Yeah. And sometimes it's different people to who you're currently hanging around because sometimes they are feeding your addiction. That's right, enabling. Yes, mm -hmm. so be aware of that too. Cool. Excellent. Tip of the day. Thanks, David. Thanks, Madonna. Have a good one.